Today I am showing you a new e-bike that I received. Uh, they sent it to me. They wanted me to review it and pass on this information to you. And now this is a different kind of bike than I've been getting. This is for city, uh, city riding. Although I don't live in the city, I still took it for a ride and uh, I was very happy with the results. And I'm going to show it to you here in a minute. You might see it back behind me there. Uh, let's take a look and let's go over some of the specs of it. Okay, what we have here is the TST C624 26 inch city e bike. As you can see, it has a normal uh, bike's tires, it doesn't have the fat tires. Uh, it is a, a lot easier to control. I've already taken it for a ride, you'll see that in a minute. Uh, it's unlike the fat tire. The fat tires aren't bad, but these are the steering is a little more accurate in that with these and it's it's more what people are used to, especially older people before the fat tire bikes came out. Uh, this is basically what we have. Now the nice thing about this bike is it's very lightweight. It's a lot lighter than most of them and you can just ride this like a normal bike. Pedal it just like a normal bike. It's not going to be any more difficult than it would be to ride any other bike. And I have done that. And as you can see, it has a nice looking step through frame. The battery is mounted underneath right there. Uh, you would, you know, from a distance, you wouldn't even know this is an e-bike. This looks like a regular bike. Uh, it is, uh, let me see, carbon steel frame. And it comes in black and gray. I believe that's the gray that I got. Has a nice luggage rack on the back. Very nice feature to have. Let's take a look around it. Now I did do an, a video on assembling this and well I accidentally deleted the footage but basically it's the same as any other bike. You, you remove it from the box and all you have to do is put on the front tire, the pedals, the handlebar and the seat and you're ready to go. Uh, very very easy to uh, assemble. I didn't have any trouble does have a small headlight up front. I don't normally ride at night, so I haven't tried it out. It does work. It has quick release rims. As you can see, you can pop that off, pull the tire, has a quick release seat and adjustment. Looks like I didn't have that all the way pushed in. That could have that could have been fun on the ride. And let's go over some of the specs. This bike will do 23 miles an hour. Has a smaller motor, has the 800 watt motor, it has a range of 40 miles, has a 7 speed shifter, which works very well. I was shifting pretty good with that. And the battery is uh, 480 watt hours and it gives you about 5 hours of life and it didn't take very long to charge it. And, and you can charge it on the bike right there and uh, there's a key that goes in and the battery will pop right out. And you can take it in and charge it, no problem. Uh, has a LCD screen up here. It's smaller than the usual ones, but I like it. It's very accessible. It's close to the handlebar. Uh, I didn't mind that at all. I love the handlebars on this thing. Uh, it also has an app. I did not realize that, or I would have downloaded that when I took it for a ride just to see what the app did. But everything has an app now, doesn't it? But man, this, guys, this is a sharp looking bike, uh, has dual suspension. It was a very smooth riding bike. I mean, you look at that suspension there. Yeah. And you want to hear the best part? This bike is only $699. That's it. Not, not $1,500, not $2,000, not $3,000. Six hundred and ninety nine dollars And it rides just as good as anything I've rode now, It doesn't have the speed that a lot of them I've, I've I've rode has but You don't always need that especially in city commuting You're not going to need to go 40 miles an hour down a sidewalk or you know depending where you're at uh, speed kind of helps me here on this highway out there, but you're not going to need that in a city. Now, it's a little bit of a smaller frame than I'm used to. But, you know, I'm taller than the average person also. 
So if, if this is something you think would be better fit for you, then by all means check it out. I will leave a link in the description. Listen, man, I'm doing a, I'm doing a bike review. Do you mind, Mr. Crow Crowerson? Thank you. That's all you got to do with them. And uh, oh, I got to mention the seat. Man, that seat is very soft and comfortable. I loved it. Let me get up here. Get a top view of this thing. It's a pretty sleek looking bike, man. I was impressed with it. You know, and especially for the price. You can't beat that. So. Do 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 All right, let's ride this. Let's ride this dude around the yard just a little bit. Get the feel for it. Pedal's really nice. Just like riding. I wonder if I could pull a wheelie. <laughs> I don't know. I ain't pulled a wheelie in years, but I think I'm ready for a wheelie. All right, can I pull a wheelie on it? I think my wheelie days are over. Let's be honest, I have never pulled a good wheelie in my life. Just once I'd like to pull a wheelie. I'm just gonna keep trying. I may build some ramps. All right, let's go for a ride. guys riding real good real good 20 miles an hour I think the top speed on this is 23 let me get some gear shift in here And this is a city bike, so it is made for pavement. Oh man, I can turn my head a whole lot better now when I'm looking back behind me. Couldn't do that before. That's from losing the weight. All right. This is a very nice riding bike. I just wish it was a little bit bigger for me. Very smooth, very comfortable seat too. All right, 23 miles an hour, or 22 rather. Let me get up some speed in case there's some dogs up here. Ah, oh, now I found the gear. Now this bike, you can pedal just as easy as a regular bike because it's a lightweight bike. Very nice. We're gonna drive down the ways here. Go see what Drew's place is looking like. Uh-oh. Well, them dogs are fenced in. Good. Good. Scared the heck out of me. It's a Sunday morning. Perfect day for a ride. I love it. 
There's Peter's place. See if he's out. I don't want to get his dogs riled up. Nope, don't see him. All right, we'll go turn around up here at Drew's. We're about a mile, a little over a mile from home. Nobody's here, so I'm gonna turn around. I'm gonna get headed back. Wow. Okay. All right, we got a car coming. We'll wait till he passes. I don't know how this is gonna work. I like how this rides. Let's see if I can find a higher gear to help pedal. There we go, I'm on the big sprocket. Oh yeah, we're moving. Jump over here, get away from these dogs. 23 mile an hour. Um, they're not used to seeing an e-bike, them dogs ain't. Yeah, they built a fence now. Them dogs used to run loose. So this is a perfect bike for commuting in the city. It, does, it has some pretty knobby tires, but not like the big fat tires. But it does have a better, uh, more controllable ride, I think. You know, it's like your normal mountain bike that you'd ride in town. A very smooth ride. Now I'm running in uh, pedal assist five right now. And I charged this battery about two weeks ago and it's still full. I'm trying to Trying to get where I can pedal with it. There we go. Just looking for the bigger sprocket. Oh, this is fun. Nice fun one. We'll see if it'll get up my driveway. I don't know. pretty dangerous to ride on this road sometimes. Got a lot of construction traffic going by. into the grass. Right, we're pedaling with it. Uh, remember to keep in mind this is for let me shift shift down a little better. There we go. This is for city use. And the price on this guys is insane. It is a lot cheaper than most bikes. Look at this lazy. You still in your doghouse. You don't have a care in the world today, do you? All right, that's our ride. 